all right welcome back to mr jdm and today's video we're going to uh i guess review or um i'll show you how this thing works i bought this tire changer from harbor freight it's a bit of a piece of crap if you don't buy the centering cone and then you screw this piece onto there and then you buy this thing which has a duck bill keeps you from scratching your wheels i've already got two of them off just because i've never uh taken a tire off and i'll tell you what i struggled on the first one but once i figured it out then the second one came off like just really easy but this thing is it's actually pretty nice um this uh tire changer was $59.99 or whatever at Harbor Freight. And then I had a coupon for like 15% off. And then I bought the center centering ring or cone. I think for like 10 bucks on eBay. Might have been 15. And then I bought this whole contraption thing for like 110. Might have been 115. I've got like you know 170 into it, but I've got the CRV, the first gen CRV tires to change. Those are going to be for the Beagle. Those are the original Beagle wheels. And then I've got two new tires here for my wife's second gen CRV. And I am going to end up replacing uh, her other two plus the spare. So I've got a lot of tires to change. Um, and it it's going to pay for itself because I buy all my tires on amazon because they're way cheaper than if you go to the store but then i also bought a bubble um balancer now i know these things aren't 100 percent accurate but you know it, it's going to do the job all the reviews say it works so we're going to try it out if not then i guess we're going to take our tires somewhere to get them balanced and all this may not have been worth it oh yeah and i paid like 70 bucks for that so let's say i have like 250 dollars invested in all this it seems like it's a lot but in the big scheme of things i feel like i'm going to save myself a lot of time and effort a lot of time and money because i can just do this myself when i'm ready to i don't have to take it somewhere drop it off and you know wait for them i can just do it so uh let's show you how this is how this is done First, you gotta take the air out of the tire, obviously, which I've done that. And then this contraption down here is the bead breaker. We just lift this up, put the tire up on there. Stick it right on the edge. And of course, it doesn't wanna work might need to put a block underneath it. I have found that that helps. <laughs> and of course it doesn't want to work <laughs> because I'm recording. I mean, you know, that's how it works, right? Okay, I had to bend this thing back. I've already found flaws in it. I need to weld a piece of metal in there to make that stronger. And there we go. Look at that, see? Look how easy that was. Should have happened the first time. Now we flip it over. And we get the back. Or not. This bead does not want to break. There we go. All right. And yeah, you may struggle a little bit, but I think it's worth it. And obviously we want to take the, uh, the balance weights off. There we go. All right. 
All right, so it has a hole for this to go into to lock it down. To keep it from spinning. Then we put our centering cone in. This is what they gave you for that, but that thing is, it's worthless. Centering cone, then we screw this piece on. Now we put our duck bill on. Now we put our duck bill on. This thing is adjustable. And we just gotta tighten it down. Squirt some soapy water. We take the bar that came with it. Pop it up. And now we just spin. All right, now we need to get to the bottom. The bottom's a little bit trickier. I've learned that using this works better, but Harbor Freight sells thinner ones, so I think I'm gonna go get thinner ones at Harbor Freight. And we just do the same thing, basically. Pull that out and then spin. Oh, it fell off. And this is something I've had a lot of trouble with. It just falls off. It's only on the bottom side though. Let's get it going. Pull out of there. I got it too far down in there. See, this is where the thin ones would come in handy. And this was my struggle this whole time with that first one. It looks like I'm repeating it. I know everybody's just watching, like, no, do this, do that. That's not how you do it, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're probably right, but I gotta learn. I'm almost there. There we go. Look at that. I knew I had it in me. Oof. Now, how much did I mess up the wheel? Doesn't look like I messed it up a little at all. Maybe a tiny bit there. I don't know, maybe it's just clean. But yeah, that's been my struggle for the day, but this thing works pretty good. I'm really happy with it. All right, yeah, so, I mean, I guess that's the end of this video. It's pretty short, but it is what it is. We'll do the, uh, the bubble balancer once we get tires uh, ready to put on the wheel, and um, we'll pick back up on the B20 build here soon. I have a few things I need that I ordered that I need to uh, wait for him to get here because I'm kind of stuck. I can't do anything 
without these uh, tools. So I cannot get all the carbon out of where the rings go. So I bought a tool to um, scrape that out. And then um, to get my valves set correctly, to cut them correctly, I need, um, it's called blue steel or steel blue. It's just like a, a paint you paint on. And then once you um, cut the, the seats, then you can see where on the valve that the seat meets the valve. And so I have a, I have some, but I've dug through this and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where I put it, just like everything else. But yeah, so uh, next week's video, we'll get back on the B20. And I know I've only been posting two videos per week the past you know couple weeks now. And that's just because I'm just, I'm kind of burnt out. Posting three videos a week is, uh, it's tough. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but it, it really is. Plus we have some, uh, a lot of rain recently and it's just scolding temperatures. You know, I've said that I like working in the heat, but I also said my old ass can't handle it much anymore. So, and then on a uh, Labor Day weekend, we had family stuff going on. So, but anyway, uh, I appreciate watching. Um, I would recommend the uh the tire changer but only with the uh the modification thing you can buy on ebay just type in uh harbor freight manual tire changer modification or duck bill and they'll pop up now some of them are like 400 bucks but they have like bearings and shit in them and they're really nice but it's 100 percent unneeded so i wouldn't spend the money on something like that i don't know how that guy gets away with selling it i don't even know if he sells any of them because that's just crazy. 400 bucks for the duckbill attachment? I don't think so. But oh well, let's end this video here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please share with your friends. Subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Comment. Whatever it is. I'll see you all in the next video.